inspired and to get inspiration how about we uh, find out a little bit about the jackson art studio and design joelle Gaunt, Lori badger good morning both from the, the studio and uh, surrounded by some beautiful works of art and uh, well let's talk about um, you have a unique class that involves grapes no, that involves one. <laughs> you can paint there. No, you have you have a sip and paint class that uh, I understand is doing very very well. So can you tell us a little bit about uh, what the studio has and how people can uh, tap their inner Rembrandt, if you will? Sure, um, it's a lot of fun. We can teach people from the ultimate beginner all the way up to the seasoned artist. Mm -hmm. We have the canvases set up for you. It's a 16 by 20 canvas, like you can mm -hmm. see here, acrylic paints. There's um, the palette all set up for you, the brushes. So you just show up and we lead you through a painting in two to three hours. Now what about somebody who thinks they're a painter, who wants to be a painter, but might not have the confidence or thinks, you know, oh, I don't, I don't want anybody to see it. Uh, is this also sort of a confidence boost as well? It's Absolutely. A, yeah, it's a great confidence boost. Uh, we've been teaching the sip and paint classes and uh, people will, uh, finish the class and feel so happy about what they've created that I'll hear back from them later about how they've gone out and purchased their own paints and they're starting to paint after and uh, like I said before that is the best compliment I could get. So who's, who's, who's attracted to this? I mean we live in the valley, we certainly have a lot of history um, in terms of the White Mountain painters and the Hudson River Valley, uh, it's the kind of thing in the beautiful uh, mountains and woods that we have. Are these, are these people who uh, have time on their hands, are looking for a new hobby, just want to tap their creativity? I, I think it's a little mix of everybody. We've had you know, girlfriends coming together to say instead of let's going to a bar, let's grab a bottle of wine and go do something fun and different. Uh -huh. Or some people who have been nervous about maybe getting back into painting, mm -hmm. we just give them an opportunity to not worry about having to buy anything, to worry about what are they going to paint. We've taken all the guesswork out of it. Um, we've had younger people, sure, but generally it's probably middle-aged people, right. um, like myself. <laughs> there <laughs> is life. There's life. <laughs> yep, no, it's been, it's been great. It's a ton of fun. It's like a little party. We have great music, and like I said, we simplify these paintings. We make it just, you show up and you're going to leave with something great, something to hang on your wall. Nice. So is this something that, again, this is some of the work we have, we have here. Is it sort of is it, 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 landscape? or nature-oriented, the sort of the, 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 the fruit bowl, if you will, uh, kind of thing that people tend to, to, to start out with? And are they going by a picture they bring, or does anybody, everybody do the same painting no, for them? No, everybody's going to do the same painting. This week I taught um, George O'Keefe's poppies, mm -hmm. so yeah, Abbey great. Abiquiu, New Mexico. Yes. Her house is, anyway, we'll talk oh, about that later. Yes, anyway. I would love to see that. <laughs> but we, we take something that people are somewhat familiar with, right. and we will have a little sketch right on the canvas for you. Then there's a recipe for the palette, so you go through and you put all the paints on the palette with our guidance, mm -hmm. and you, we start at it. We teach you step by step how to do that but the subject matter is definitely something you're kind of familiar with so mm -hmm. it could be a flower a pumpkin we did a scene of Mount Washington um, so it's a little mix of everything nice. because yeah. of where we are in the in the White Mountains I think that we're, people are just drawn to a more natural element but we've done yeah. abstract paintings before too mm -hmm. which have been wonderfully popular so I don't think we've got any sort of limitation mm -mm. and, and like, how long have uh, you, whoever wants to talk about how long have you been been painting I've been painting my whole life but mm -hmm. probably f professionally about 15 years mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, I started painting um, about seven years ago, and uh, before that, I was a and am still a jewelry designer mm -hmm. and a mosaic artist. Nice. So dabble in all sorts of arts. And, and we're we're talking we're talking uh, dabbling in all sorts of arts. We're, we're talking about the sip and paint, but aren't there other types of, uh, of of art that people at the studio can can take part in and, and learn? 
Absolutely. We both teach different workshops at the gallery. Melanie, the owner of the gallery, also teaches more extensive workshops. In fact, at these classes at the end, we try to promote a little bit of what else we're doing. Right. So I'm going to be doing a flower painting class, um, looking like it's going to be January. Right. And right what be, are you doing? I'll be teaching mosaic classes. Nice. Um, mosaic garden balls and mirrors and um, there are also jewelry making classes so that's all available all that information is available at the website and I think on the website I, I, so you, you sort of in, also incorporate you know people from the community mm -hmm. to come in and, and teach some of the the classes as as well which is which is kind of interesting to see yep people from the community this is an incredibly talented valley mm -hmm. there are so many fabulous artists in this valley and uh -huh. and I continue to learn more and more the more I meet and um, the arts gallery is a co-op so uh, we've got glass blowers there and we've got jewelry designers and we've got um, painters and um, people who make um, clothing mm -hmm. it's, it's a wonderful collection of and just a reminder as to where it is uh, it's in Jackson, and it's about um, a half mile past the Shannon door, sure. heading towards Mount Washington. And uh, it's on the right on Ridge Road. Nice. And anything about, we, we have the, the paintings in front of us, and is there a story behind uh, one or them, or any anything? This is just something that, uh, these are some of the examples that people can do at the class. Yeah, these are some of the examples. Um, we just tried to choose things that we thought would just be something most people would enjoy mm -hmm. painting so we're learning as well what is more popular we can see mm -hmm. what people are signing up for the most online which actually leads me to signing up online ahead of time is really important because we do set your palette up mm -hmm. we set the canvas and so we need a little prep time so if you do want to take a class signing up ahead is really what we'd like you to do and the website is is jackson art nh.com okay and also people are bringing wine should they bring glasses and corks Nope, we have that all oh, okay. set. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> they have everything else they need all set up there. Nice, nice, nice yeah. to know. And also I think I saw on the website if, if memory serves, didn't you once have a, have an origami? class as well oh there perhaps? was one was we one had once. done a series that, that's an in, it's, it's very interesting very uh, interesting kind of she yeah. does keep it quite diverse yeah. oh, I know she, yeah and so she had a series of free classes actually right. and that was one of them nice. and that nice. was just to, to sort of introduce the public to the different kinds of things we have that it's not just painting nice. All right, and so once again I mean mm -hmm. the sip and paint just really sounds like a very very fun evening you know for, every, for, for everyone and again go online and this is something that happens how often uh, well, we're trying to do it a couple of times a week. We are also open for private parties, so we're trying to promote people to do like bridal showers and corporate yeah. events and things like that. If you have a birthday ending in a five yes. or a zero, <laughs> it sounds to me like a wonderful, wonderful place to, to go. That's, absolutely. That's, absolutely. There you go. It's kind of like a birthday party and bucket list kind of kind of thing. Yeah. You know, in, if you can get, kind of I would thing. even do private parties. Sure. So if you have six to ten people that you can get together, we will do it if it works out with the gallery schedule. We'll do it any time. Thank you. Yeah. Well, well, Joelle, Lori, thank you very, very much for stopping by thank and you, uh, sharing with us some wonderful works of art, which you can see at the uh, Jackson Art Studio and Design. And of course, a little bit of wine, a little bit of like-minded people. I think the evening is going to be wonderful. Yes. All right. Thank you. <laughs> we'll be thank back you. after.